Hello everyone and welcome back to Operate Now. T now we're doing tons of surgery. Don't mind my cat at the back. He's just sleeping. Alright, don't disturb him. I'll, I'm, I'm probably going to disturb him because I talk very loudly. Probably not the best thing, but here we are. Operate Now, tons of surgery. Um, let's do this. This game contains graphic the picture. Jesus Christ, didn't even let me read it. Meet Scott. What's up, Scott? He has tonsillitis. This causes an infection in the tonsils to avoid... To avoid complications, we must operate and remove the tonsils. But we need to take the patient to the operating room. One of these three rooms, I'm guessing it's this one because it shows their throat. Wow, the music is loud. Uh, please select that. I'm going to turn that down actually. Okay, please select the anesthetic ma mask from the table. Put that on your face. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Right, okay. He's sleeping, so now we can do whatever we want to him. Not in that way. In, in a surgical way. Not in a dirty way. That you might be thinking of. But anyway, let's put up your nose. Oh, sugar. Uh, retractors. Open your mouth. Let me see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, you've, it looks like you've got aliens in your mouth. Um, the forceps from the table. These things. We're going to pinch it. Ooh, I'll imagine waking up in the surgery. The cauterizer is going to burn you. Oh, what's this? Now turn on it. Okay, um, must reach 20. Okay. Oh, just rip it straight out. Oh, we don't care about your feelings. We're going to rip it straight out. Guillotine clamp. Oh, my lord. That was... Oh, uh, look at that. Um, cauterizer, right? Yes. Just, just get rid of the bleeding. Oh, we're burning his mouth hole. Uh, please take the forceps from the table. Will do. And we're going to do the same with you. Pinch it. And then cauterize the uh, thingamajig. Just slice it down. Slice it down again. And guillotine thingamajig. Um, pull it out. Right out. Okay, we're doing this in record breaking time. Cauterize it. Let's, let's fucking do this, mate. Uh, just click on it, click, there you go. Please select the water spray, we're gonna choke you. Uh, water spray, there we go. Choke him, choke him, choke him, choke him. No, I'm joking, I don't want to choke him, I'm trying to save this poor man. Suction thingy. Uh, sorry, that was probably really unpleasant to hear. Get rid of that, open it, we're done. Remove that, we're done. Um... Oh, no, never mind. You must select the correct spot medicine thingy. I, ibuprofen. Did a great job. Look at ibuprofen and medicine. That has to be taken every six hours to hydrate the throat. And help suppress pain. I'm sure the patient will recover in no time. Whoa, that was quick. I just right clicked, sorry. That, Jesus Christ. I'm so sick of that. Pacemaker surgery. Uh, this guy looks like a decent bloke. And he needs a pacemaker. Meet William. I swear I recognise that guy on the right. Okay, uh, meet William. William has a heart problem. The conduction system which controls the heart's rhythmic beating through electrical impulses is failing. We may need to place a pacemaker in his chest to regulate his heartbeat. First, we need to check the current condition of his heart. We must take a blood sample. Blood. Uh, this one. Uh, side procedure, please pick up the tourniquet. Tourniquet. Sure. Don't have to, I don't know how to say that. It's just tighten it. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh! Jeez, jeez Christ, you've got some nice veins. Sanitizer wipes. Uh, butterfly needle. Butterfly. There you go. Please take an empty vial. Okay. Let me get. Let me see that blood. Let me. Oh, that's some red blood. Take that. Take that. Can you, do you want? Do you want a little plaster? Yeah. Plaster. There you go. Well done. Well done. Supportive man. Uh, the blood sample of, of William's blood has been placed under his microscope. We can now examine the blood in detail. We seem to have low number of red blood cells. No, low number of red blood cells or Erythrocytes. Erythrocytes. Okay, this may be due to a failing heart. 
Whoa, look at that. We need to form an electrocardiogram to see William's cardiac rhythm for this one. Must select the electrodes. Okay. Put that right there. Oh, wow. We're putting it all over you. Uh, now select the electroid holder. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's do this. Um, turn on the ECG machine. Okay. Let's, is this your heartbeat? Uh, the first thing we notice is that the patient has a regular heartbeat known as arrhythmia. This, together with the previous evidence, shows us that we need to operate and insert a pacemaker. We must go to the operating room. This one. Good work, Doctor. We'll now inject the intravenous anaesthetic. Please select the syringe. I just realised they're saying a bunch of things I don't know, and I keep right clicking. Right in there. Okay, that's right. We must wait four seconds. Jesus Christ. And it's done. Okay, time flies when you're having a surgery. Please look up the tongs. Okay. Cotton, I don't even need to look at that. Uh, paint you, paint you, yeah. Please pick up the marker, will do. Draw some inappropriate stuff on you. Not really, we're just gonna draw a line. Uh, make a decision. Okay, here here we go, here we go. Whoa, oh my god, you're bleeding a lot. Jeez, what just happened there? You're bleeding, please pick up the sanitizer thingies. Let, let, let me fix that for you. Okay, let's smudge it. Oh, oh, it's, it's disappeared. The retro oh, opening you up. Oh my lord! Cut you again, all the way down there. Is this is this really how it is? Please, um, what do I need? We need to, we will use the leads to connect the thingy leads. Oh, just stick it right in there. Stick another one right in there. Okay. Uh, this ring is connected directly to the heart, okay. Uh, we will need to set a pacemaker now. Please select it from the table. Uh, oh, okay. Um, plug you guys in. Oh, whoa, it's like, look at that bump. Turn that on. Good, you can have a move. We're just going to leave that inside of him. Is it gonna, what if it just like drops down? Is it, is it going to stay there? Okay, uh, I'm not complaining. Less work for me. Okay, um, come on, thread it like a nice person, the patch, but look, you can, you can still, I'm pointing, but you can still see the bump, look over here, you can still see the bump, that's not his nipple, um, we'll come in no time, get in there, another one, I'm pretty damn sick of this, because the first one is so short, I'm probably going to do another one, look, look how happy this man is. Well, you're welcome for giving you a little bump in your chest, but wherever you need, my friend. Epilepsy surgery, the final one for today. And epilepsy is a very strange thing that I don't know much about, so hopefully I can learn something. Meet Marie. Marie has epilepsy, which is causing her to, to go into seizures under certain circumstances. She tried, she has tried difficult treatments to stop the seizures, but unfortunately none have been affected, nor have the symptoms diminished over time. As it is sometimes the case with chronic diseases, surgery is a last treatment option. However, considering her background, we should first perform an EEG to see if Marie is fit for surgery. Okay. To examine Marie's brain, an electro... The e -E okay, so brain thingy. No, that thingy. Please take the electrodes from the table. Put that on your forehead. We'll fix you up in no time, my friend. Don't worry. Good work, Doctor. I appreciate that. Here are, here are the EEG results. Test every electrode to identify the one producing the highest frequency wave. Um, that's pretty high. Whoa, that is really damn high. Yeah, okay, that's definitely the highest. Very good, Doctor. I appreciate that again. Operate room for the brain thingy now. We'll begin an it's thingy thingy syringe. We're gonna we're gonna inject you. Anesthesia. Put it right in there. Yank right out and put it right in there. Now we're going to wait four seconds. I already know this by now. One, two, three, four. Done. Four seconds, that's what I thought. Uh, need to cut her hair. I'm so sorry, but we're going to make you look stylish by cutting your hair. Scissors. 
don't worry. You know what? Not too bad. That that looks decent. But we're going to have to do a cut a lot more than that. Sorry, my friend. Gonna... Cover, cover you. It looks like you have shampoo in your hair, but it's not shampoo. I'm so sorry for this, but goodbye. Goodbye, lovely hair. I don't want to get your eyebrows, so I'm going to leave that. Oh, I don't, I don't want to get your, your ear as well, so... Um, oh, that... <laughs> um, what do we need? Cotton. Get rid of it. We don't want to shave your ear off. Good. Very good, Doctor. We now ready to apply the antiseptic solution. Cotton. Sorry. Sorry. Tongs. Sorry. Now cotton. Put it in the anis in the antiseptic and paint you. We painted your hair back on us. It's, it's all good. Please pick up the marker. Will do. Draw on your head. Uh, make incision. Scalpel. And... Flap it. Don't know what I'm, what I'm meant to say there. But we cut it open. Pick up the drill. Oh, this is... Ooh. That is not a pleasant, pleasant thing. Please, please pick up the surgical saw. Will do. Oh, that noise! That noise! The brain is now exposed. The next step is to cut into the duro mark. I didn't read that properly. Uh, we need to scalpel again. We're getting deep inside of you, my friend. Not in that way. Please pick up the scissors. Um, just, just snip it. Snip it. Oh, that's your brain now. Uh, very good, Doctor. The brain is now visible. I see that. Now we must check... Now we must check each area of the brain to pinpoint exactly where the seizures are coming from. Please pick up the electroid grid from the table. Uh, put that right on that. Uh, select the tweezers. Okay. Okay, need to look at which one. That's pretty high. That's really high. We located the emitting the stringer's feedback. So you're gonna just pinch it. Okay. Uh, please pick up the scalpel. Are we gonna cut this bit out? Ugh. Would that do anything to us? Is that gonna like, I don't know, make her forget things? I don't know how it works. Excellent doctor, we must now close the area. We'll do. Uh, tongues, put that back. Here you go, just as good as normal. Uh, needle, we'll do. Red. That. That makes a slimy noise. That is weird. Uh, come on, come on, last one. Thank you very much. Set to drill again. We're gonna put three holes in you as well, okay. That noise is so realistic and it's kind of weird. Uh, put it back. Please pick up the surgical plates, okay. We're gonna. Oh, okay, I, I think I get it. I'm gonna have metal on you though, sorry about that. Screwdriver, please pick up the screws. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Because I don't think the thread and the needle would be able to go through the fucking skull, so. We need to pick up the tongs now, okay. Put that back, and then we can just stitch this up. Ooh, that's gonna leave a scar. Hopefully, a hair will grow back over and no one can see it though. It's kind of giving me shivers just, just looking at that though. Imagine having a huge scar on your head. But, but it's worth it, okay? We fixed you up. Um, is that all? Stapler. Oh, sh Jesus Christ. She is not a piece of paper. We cannot staple her. It's almost done bandage, okay. Got this, this, this can be a new hair for now, okay? This is really all good, the controls for this. Done. You look, you look fine with that hair, hair. You know what? It's kind of, it's kind of suits her. You, you might have lost your hair. But we we just we just we just did it. Well done to the world for having such a good taste in surgery, people, surgeons like me. But well done to you. Okay, you're 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 the you're the real MC. 
But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.